Uh, what has been the best advice you've received so far from Spike Lee? Don't fuck up. <laughs> I've been in this game for years. Uh, it made me an animal. It made me an animal. It made me. I've been in this game for years. Uh, it made me an animal. It made me an animal. It made, I've been in this game for years. Uh, it made me an animal. It made me an animal. It made me an animal. It She's like, I'm not, I'm not paying for your college education for you to be a film director. That's not happening. So, all right, well, you know, I want to study English. What, what else you can do with an English degree? Uh, just teach. I, I guess I don't know. I just wanted to do something because I, I felt lost. Graduated, went to Morehouse uh, College, uh, flew out to Atlanta, and woke up one morning in my dorm. I was like, I, I want to be a filmmaker. That's what I wanted to do. And I, you know, I still pursue the English degree. I was trying to switch my major to be a, a, a filmmaker, but they stopped the film program around like 92, 96, something like that. Spike um, at Morehouse, when he showed, uh, caught me doing work, rushed up to him, asked for an internship three times. This just, is during, this is just seeing him on campus. Yeah, 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 seeing him on campus. And yeah, when I graduated, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I went to NYU. Straight, straight from undergrad, I, I did not waste time. To graduate as a director from NYU Graduate Film School, you know, film school is about five years uh, for, to get your MFA. Um, give and take, three years of classes and two years to allot it to you to do your film. And I was trying to do four years because I don't want to do five years and, and, and spend extra money on tuition for it. You know, that's more uh, um, loans to take out. So it was 2014, I was, you know, that's the end of my third year, I was getting ready to make my thesis and I want to make a feature, a feature film. But my professor said I wasn't ready for it, you know, I was like, I poo poo, whatever. But, you know, I wrote a feature script and it came encouraged me to do a short, so I find. So I did a short film based off the feature script. It was, the, it was a summer, summer of 2014, you all know what happened, a lot of murders of young black youth getting killed by police. And I want to make it, you know, tell a story about that, but in a very unique and different way. And I thought of it as time travel. Um, so I think, well, this, this should be quite interesting. Uh, so I was ready to do a short. And I was about to shoot September 2015. But I had really bad producers at that time. I was trying to find money. You know, my mom gave me, mom free finance her home, gave me some money uh, to do it. At that time, I was okay. This is good. We're ready to go, but we still need some cash, and and we just need to build a team. And my producers at that time were just terrible, so and we didn't have everything together. So I let fire them, and then restart the process. Um, took me a week of crying, but it it that failure allowed me to learn that I got a lot more work to do based on my craft. Like when you're ready to do something, you know you're ready to do something, but people or circumstances not aligned to your readiness, that's fucking frustrating. Um, and it, is, it, it takes a certain level of strength to be patient. We regroup, find a co-writer, because there was still problems with the script. The script wasn't solid yet. It was, I was gonna shoot something because I just wanted like, you know, just shoot me the fuck out of some film school. Um, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll take the fifth year. You know, paid loans, paid out my pocket, took the fifth year, got myself a co-writer uh, from the dramatic writing department. Her name, her name is Frederica Bailey, wonderful person. And we wrote, we started the script again from scratch. And I showed it to Spike, and he was like, this, this is really good. Um, and I applied for his grant, and he gave me money. Um, and that money completed for the production that, for uh, finance that I needed to move on for the production. Um, and shot it six days in April 2016 during spring break for you know um, NY's New York City school because you know my cast was under six, under 18 at the time and you got you know labor law you have to have teachers on set three hours of teaching and only have nine hours to shoot them and during those nine hours three hours are taken away so we have five hours to shoot them I was like no we, tell me when your spring break is. <laughs> he shot them during spring break. 
it's been a long time coming to me for me to be a, a, to work on my first feature film, and I I know that I I'm ready to do it. But when I was in film school, I started out not learning, not knowing anything. I knew no shit, um, and I pride myself on learning as much as possible in film school, taking everything everything I can from film school. I wish I did more, honestly. I wish I'd learned more. Um, I've tested out everything as much as I can. Like there's certain areas of film that I don't like, and there's certain areas I wish I took more for granted, like cinematography. I wish I learned a little bit more of that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm it's like, it's finally, <laughs> like finally. No, what I love most about being a director is simply I get to live my dream. That's all I want to do for the rest of my life. Just direct. That's it. It's when the film is fully edited together, it's delivered in, in a movie theater, and you see people looking at your movie, and they are really invested in it, and you're in the theater saying, yeah, I did that. <laughs> like, I, I did that. That's, that's what I look like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, my family, you know, I didn't, I, I personally grew up poor, but my brother, my sister, they grew up poor in, in Guyana. And they're descendants of people who grew up in a very low income. And I'm a descendant of that doing this. That's hot. If you're a kid and you want to do this growing up, um, taking everything in your in your education. If you're in high school and you want to do this, your education is a must. You you never know where you're gonna grab inspiration from. You learn about science, history. You're taking your science, your history class, your English class, um, science class, whatever. If you learn as much as possible, if you come, if you feel you well, you know exactly. Then later on, when you learn the tools of being a filmmaker, then you know where to grab inspiration from. I've seen so many people who just I want to be a filmmaker. Great. You know, work on a work, you know, be a PA on the set first. Learn how people do it first. <laughs> you know, ask questions, go to classes, you know, if you can't afford to go to film school, which is most people can't, which is fine. Find a way in where someone can teach you that from point A to point B. Learning how to scrutinize your own work and hiring people to tell you the absolute truth about your work and being comfortable with somebody saying your work is trash. You can do better. Um, be too quick to jump on the hottest thing or the hottest person because the hottest person might not be for you in the long run. Um, just, you know, it's, it's all about being with the right people and then you go from there to be in the place where you want to be. People that believe in you. Because, you know, I mean, the first hardest thing about believing in you, you have to believe in yourself. Once, once, I, once I learned that, I was like, okay. <laughs> now I can, I can find people that believes in me. And, you know, that's hard. Because people will act like they believe in you, but they really don't. They just want to attach to what you have so they can benefit off of that. What's up? My name is Stuff from Bristol, and I am 88 approved. Part on the set, please!